Aww. From underground to the highest points of the heavy metal scene, there's been an influence of certain techniques, such as sweeping and blast beats and gent riffs. Even famous musicians making videos around these techniques. But from a musician's perspective, sometimes it's the most satisfying and fun thing to do on our instrument. But the constant solos and jet rips over hammer blasts could eventually sound like noise. But I think it's really how you do it. Look at the extreme metal band Meshuggah's Bleed. And yes, I know it's not a blast beat, it's actually a herda. Could it be possible musicians are worried about their songs being more technical than pleasing to the ear? What I'm trying to say is, you can make extreme metal, just try to find a way to be different. Don't get me wrong, showmanship is a big part of rock and roll, but I think you have to strike a balance, or save all that extra shit for the stage. At the end of the day, you're supposed to have fun and doing those techniques are fun. Really, it's up to you. I personally was introduced to Blast Beats from Slipknot's Jordy Jordison's track, People Equal Shit. Then my goofy ass head to drum and I actually learned how to blast beat. What do you guys think? Are certain techniques overused nowadays in current music? Is the scene really lacking creativity? Or are people just looking for another way to nick pick bands? I just let the band play how they want, in my opinion, but you can let me know below. I'm Johnny. I make other videos on rap and metal. You can catch them over here. Until then, peace out.